Yo, what is up, everybody? It's Phantom Lion, and welcome back to the Lion's Den. Today, we have a video for you covering Call of Duty Vanguard's alpha, beta, multiplayer reveal, and much more. Um, but first, I want to dive into me just saying I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. Um, I'm back. I'm going to be covering Call of Duty Vanguard, if you haven't noticed, uh, over the past couple days. I have been posting the Vanguard trailers that we've gotten. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying those. Um... I'm not going to lie, I fell out of love with making YouTube videos, I fell out of, um, I wasn't applying myself, I wasn't passionate about it as I once was, and it doesn't help working full-time and being a full-time employee, um, not making any excuses, but it's hard to get that time to focus on YouTube when you're working full-time, um, six days a week. So, we are going to be covering Call of Duty Vanguard for the most part, um, so far, uh, I'll just wait until the end of the video to tell you guys my opinion. But today, we did get the official announcement from Sledgehammer that there is a Call of Duty Vanguard Alpha. Now, this Alpha is going to be the Champion Hill game mode. Um, I personally am confused of how to describe this game mode myself. I'm not fully understanding it, so I'm going to do my best. Uh, there's eight teams, and you can either have 2v2 or 3v3 in the Alpha at launch, though, you can also play 1v1, and there's good, There's four maps for the specific mode, and you just battle it out until you're the last one standing. There's features from Gunfight and Battle Royale mixed into one, and you can also upgrade your weapons and earn cash and stuff like that. So, we're going to be playing that. Um, I should be playing it this weekend. I might stream it. I'm going to make some videos on it, so stay tuned to the channel for that, but... The alpha is confirmed PlayStation only, so PlayStation 4 players and PlayStation 5 players will be able to play the Champion Hill, Champion Hill Alpha, and it is from August 27th to the 29th, and you don't have a, you don't need a pre-order, and you don't need to have PlayStation Plus. We also got official preload times of the alpha, so PlayStation players can officially preload the Vanguard Alpha starting August 23rd at 3 a.m. Pacific Time. That will be 6 a.m. Eastern Time. And the Alpha begins August 27th at 10 a.m. Pacific Time. That's going to be 1 p.m. Eastern Time. So you can start preloading the Alpha tomorrow. And I'm excited. Again, you do not have to pre-order and you do not have to have PlayStation Plus. This is a, this is a open Alpha to everybody on PlayStation. It is not available on Xbox and it is not available on PC. So now we're going to dive into the worldwide multiplayer reveal date and the official beta dates. Now Activision and Call of Duty uh, and Sledgehammer have come out and confirmed these themselves today. So as you guys can see on screen, the worldwide multiplayer reveal is going to be September 7th. I believe that is a Tuesday. And that's when you can expect the multiplayer reveal trailer to drop. And hopefully in that trailer we could see some 6v6, some of the maps, some of the weapons, some features that they have added into the game, and so on and so forth. And then you dive into the beta portion side of things. So if you're on PlayStation and you have pre-ordered, you get early access to the beta. And that will run from September 10th through the 13th. Now remember, you have to pre-order to get early access. So, if you're on PlayStation, you get early access uh, a weekend before Xbox and PC. But, don't fear, because following weekend is the cross-play beta, weekend 2 of the beta, and on Xbox and PC, this is your early access. So, if Xbox players and PC players, if you pre-ordered, you get to play the beta September 16th through the 17th. And if you're on PlayStation, it's an open beta for all PlayStation players. Then, September 18th through the 20th, it's going to be an open beta on all platforms. So again, PlayStation Early Access, you have to pre-order. Xbox and PC Early Access, you have to pre-order. And then, during Xbox and PC Early Access, it will be open to all PlayStation. And then, starting the 18th and through the 20th, it will be open to all platforms. So now we're going to move on to some quotes and some things on Charlie Intel. Uh, these are things that Sledgehammer have said themselves. 
uh, quote, you can expect and are encouraged to explore reactive environments across the four maps within Champion Hill, breaking destructible barriers, doors, and other obstructions to create new sight lines or catch a would-be camper by surprise. So it's going to have some elements kind of like Rainbow Six Siege, but not to that extent. There's going to be some doors and some pa uh, hatches and stuff. You can shoot through and make new lines of sight, which is cool. And now this is per the Call of Duty blog. Uh, they say, you will also get hands-on time with some of the game's armaments. Uh, if I botch that word, let me do that down below in the comments. Uh, including being able to modify some with up to 10 attachments. So Gunsmith is returning. And it's not just 5 attachments this time. It is 10 attachments and Gunsmith in this game. Also, again, the Call of Duty blog says Vanguard's Champion Hill mode lets players get kill streaks and not score streaks. So here's the uh, blog post right here. In Champion Hill, your squad, either a duo 2v2 or trio 3v3 during the alpha, will compete in a round robin deathmatch tournament against other squads. Your mission is to reduce all other squads' life count to zero before your whole squad is eliminated. Everyone starts with the same loadout, and while it can be lethal, collecting cash earned by taking enemy lives and picking up drops scattered around the map will allow you to upgrade your starting weapons and purchase new armaments, equipment, perks, and kill streaks during buy rounds that happen between combat rounds. So the game mode sounds very interesting. Um, kill streaks are back. Uh, I personally, I'm a fan of score streaks, but not how Black Ops Cold War did score streaks. I don't like how score streaks were given out to everybody. I do like when your streak is reset upon death. So I'm kind of glad the kill streaks are back, but it sucks because, in my personal experience, and I've seen it a lot on Twitter as well, uh, kill streaks encourages like camping, I guess, because if you're in a corner and you're one off of a certain streak, you're going to camp to get that streak. Instead of score streaks, where they actually, you know, you get rewarded for playing the objective, unlike kill streaks. So, mixed on that one, we'll see how it plays out, but I'm just glad it's not Black Ops Core War streak system. That's all I can say. So, now we're going to jump into the four Champion Hill maps that are going to be available in Vanguard at launch. So, you have Airstrip, Train Yard, Market, and Courtyard, and we're going to take a closer look at them. So, here's Airstrip. Uh, it looks pretty cool, as you can say. It looks like it's a hangar with some planes. Obviously, it's an airstrip. Uh, looks pretty cool. Next up, you have train yard. So I'm guessing this is, you know, just a little train station or a train crash or something. A train yard. Maybe it's like a graveyard, but for trains, who knows? Up next, we have market. Don't really know what this one's going to be. Maybe like a store or something like that. Uh, I'm not going to jump into cool, like, I'm not going to jump into a a lot of detail here. I'm not going to go in depth and tell you guys every corner and every everything on the map, stuff like that. But here's Courtyard, which is the uh, final map. And I think these all might be playable in the Alpha as well. So now we're going to jump into a closer look at the operators that are going to be playable in the game. Um, I don't know if they're going to all be available in the Alpha or not. But there's uh, Polina, I think her name was. And... Uh, I don't remember this guy's name, and if you guys know what they are holding, what kind of gun they're holding, let me know down below in the comments. And there's your four main characters, I believe, from the campaign as operators in the game, so that is pretty cool. So there you guys have it. There's everything you guys need to know about Call of Duty Vanguard's Alpha, the multiplayer reveal, and the beta. We took a look at the Champion Hill maps that are going to be available at launch. don't know if all four will be available in the Alpha or not. Uh, but we'll see. Also, we took a look at the operators and some of the things that they quoted today via the vlog, the Call of Duty blog post. Um, now it's time for my opinion on the game. I don't know if I'm going to get the game, to be honest with you guys. Um, I'm going to be covering the alpha and the beta, and that will probably sway me to either get the game or to not get the game. Because to be honest with you, it sounds like it's a lot like Modern Warfare 2019. Sounds like a copy and paste of Modern Warfare 2019, if you ask me. And I personally was not a huge fan of Modern Warfare 2019's multiplayer, at least. Uh, probably not a huge fan of the game, to be honest with you, period. Uh, multiplayer was too slow, too campy. Uh, they just changed a lot of, about the game. Uh, maps being the number one thing. You had doors, mounting, leaning, which all that stuff is returning in Vanguard. Uh, also, I just have breaking news 
the V2 rocket will be back in Vanguard. So those of you that like going on nuke streaks, there's the V2 rocket. I don't know if it's going to be a game ender or if it's just going to come down and you have that. But I like that idea of nuke streaks being in the game. Uh, Gunsmith is also back. I'm not a huge fan of Gunsmith. And the reason being is, honestly, every like Gunsmith so far, like Mono for 2019 and Black Ops Cold Wars, uh, they're just copy and paste attachments for every gun. And I think five attachments is a, is a little too much. And now there's word that we're going to be having ten attachments, which that's insane and crazy. Um, I miss the days where there was like a total of 12 attachments in a game. And then you can pick two of the attachments. And then you had to sacrifice a wild card slot or something to get a third attachment on your weapon. Um, I think five is too much and ten is definitely going to be too much. And everybody just runs the same o OP class setups on everything anyways. So, like, you don't really have a mix of th things. You know what I mean? Like, everybody runs the monolithic suppressor, uh, all that, you know, kind of stuff on just the same gun. So, it's like just... It's not, you know, original, I guess you can say. Everybody just copies everybody. Um, I don't really care for the menu system, how that works. Uh, like, when I say menu, I'm talking, like, lobby menu. Like, when we're in a lobby, I miss the old lobby where it was, like, you know, Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3's kind of menu. Where your guy, your character on the screen wasn't just walking to Narnia, I guess. You know, I, that's stupid in my opinion. Uh, I just miss like a cool little background and then everybody's name on the side. I miss that. Uh, of course, you're going to have your battle passes, seasons, blueprints, tracer rounds, and I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd rather pay $49, $50 for a uh, season pass because at least we had four multiplayer maps come out at once. Um, and a zombies map, if there's was zombies in the game, I miss map packs, to be honest with you. Um, so yeah, Call of Duty is kind of dying for me with the way it's going. I know at first we were hyped about it, but I'm not so hyped about it anymore. I miss the old days because um, I don't really care for battle passes. I don't care for blueprints or tracer rounds. I don't care for you know seasons because we don't get a lot of the content at uh, once with the launch of a season. And most of the content that they have ready for launch, they push back four seasons which is annoying so there's my stance on it uh back to the model for 2019 point i don't care for laning and mounting uh which is re returning in vanguard if i haven't uh, said that already which i probably have um blind firing is a new mechanic they added uh destruction is a new mechanic uh there's rumors of dead silence being a field upgrade which they just need to stop with that they need to stop doing field upgrades just have regular stuff again you know, not regular, I guess you can say, normal, no field upgrades and no specialists, just go back to normal COD. Um, yeah, my main complaint was with 2019, Modern Warfare 2019, was the maps. They were just bad. So if this game has decent maps, it might be better. Um, it might be more enjoyable, we'll see. But also, I don't care for the engine, the, the graphics... I think Black Ops Cold War graphics are in the same boat as Modern Warfare 2019's. Um, yes, the campaign graphics were cool, but if you look at multiplayer graphics and Warzone graphics, they're really not that great, if you ask me. Um, everything's gray-schemed and stuff, and there's a bunch of bugs in the game. Uh, so hopefully, Vanguard has bright and colorful maps like Black Ops Cold War. Uh, I prefer Black Ops Cold War over Modern Warfare 2019 all day. Uh... So I think I went on enough of a rant here. Um, I probably left out some stuff. So we'll probably make another video of, you know, Vanguard and how it's like Mono for 2019 if you guys want that. Um, I'm not a huge fan of Mono for 2019, like I said. And uh, so if Vanguard plays or feels anything like Mono for 2019, then it's not going to be enjoyable for me. But if it takes Mono for 2019 and makes it better, uh, then it'll... it'll it should be enjoyable, but we'll see. We have the alpha this weekend. Stay tuned to the channel. Uh, I'll be posting some gameplay and maybe streaming it as well. Um, and then we have the beta. So there you guys have it. Sorry for the rant there. 
let me know how you guys feel. Do you guys like Modern Warfare 2019 and are happy that this game seems like it's going in that direction? Or do you guys prefer Black Ops Cold War and are disappointed that this game is going in Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2019's direction? There's the argument that Modern Warfare 2019 was popular and all this. It's only popular because of the name. Uh, the name is what brought back players. And when people talk about multiplayer, I think a lot of people are thinking about Warzone and why they like Warzone and not like actual multiplayer. Because I've seen a lot of polls saying that they prefer Modern Warfare 2019's, 2019's multiplayer um, rather than Black Ops Cold Wars. And I just don't understand. You have doors, you have campers everywhere, claymores everywhere. It was just slow. That silence wasn't a perk. So you just had people that would just sit and listen for footsteps. And you don't really have that in Black Ops Cold War. I mean, of course, you're going to have your campers in every Call of Duty, but there was a lot of running around in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Um, another thing with Vanguard, real quick, before I end this video, is leagues are saying skill-based matchmaking is going to be the same as Black Ops Cold War and Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2019s. So there's that. Um, and that just sounds awful right there. Uh, so if we get any more news this week, I'll cover it. Any more rumors, I'll cover it. But there you guys have it. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Again, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace out.